What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I hired a professional organizer, which may be the most me thing I've ever done. <laughs> Hear me out, it's a friend of a friend. She just started her business and she's actually going to be offering like online consultations, which I thought was really cool because I, like you guys, also really like watching organization videos. I did a clean out and organize my fridge with me video and you guys really seem to like that one, so, I do not have a pantry. This house does not have a pantry. I do not know why. Whoever thought that was a good idea, I just, I literally don't understand. We have like these pull out drawers and I, I, I so desperately want to be like the Pinterest clear basket organization girl. And you know, that is just not me guys. It is just not me. It could be someone else though. Not me, but someone else, this organizer girl. So I am waiting for her to come over and I actually, I really don't know what to expect. So we're gonna kind of go on this journey together and hopefully this will give you some inspiration or ideas for cleaning and organizing your pantry. So without further ado, let's get on into the video. So Beth just got here, this is Beth. And just tell everyone what the name of your company is and kind of a quick overview of things that you offer if they're interested. Sure, I'm Beth Nordby. I'm with Custom Order Home Organizing. Uh, so I offer in-home organizing services. So that's your your pantries, your, your closets, uh, master bedrooms, whatever you need, mostly decluttering and organizing services there. But then I also offer DIY, which is what we're going to talk about today, and virtual organizing. And just to kind of give you an idea of the difference between the two, or the three actually, in home, I'm going to come in, I'm going to do a consultation similar to what we're doing today, and we're going to make a, a game plan. I'm going to estimate the number of hours to work in your space, and then I'm going to come back and schedule multiple sessions to declutter, make product recommendations, and then do the actual organizing. And then I'm going to create a plan for Amanda to use to kind of step-by-step -step, um, tackle the, the problems that she has in her space. With virtual, it's kind of the same thing, but we schedule extra hours that I'm going to check in and do one-on-one -on -one consultation in their space virtually through Zoom. So the reason why I wanted to do this is because you guys know I am a, I'm a master at projects, DIY projects. Um, and so I basically just really don't know what I should tackle first. And in this kitchen, we don't really have a ton of room to work with. So I asked Beth for some like ideas in terms of what she thinks would be the best way to utilize the cabinet space, the pullout drawers. And then she also mentioned something about putting potentially like another storage option over by the window over here so I don't know I just thought this would be a good idea for you guys to kind of see what I'm going to do in the kitchen to kind of make it more organized so let's do it first I just want to understand what your goals are what kind of big problem pain issue brought you to me today so when I am in here or trying to find something everything is either like stuffed into a drawer because it's not like visible because we don't have a pantry. So it's not being able to see what I have. Mm -hmm. So which leads to like unfortunate wasting of products or just like things expiring and not having a clear like set space for each type of thing. Okay. Cause like in my closet, I'm good about having like, this is my winter stuff, this is my summer stuff, but in the kitchen, I don't have that. Okay. If you were to say the biggest problem area for you, is it a particular cabinet? Is it just moving around the space? It would be the pullout drawer drawers because they're okay. deep and things are like hidden at the bottom between that and then like where the cereals and like excess random stuff are okay yeah. don't judge this drawer okay it's a hot mess <laughs> no judgment zone this is everybody's everybody's drawers look like this I promise you okay so what we're gonna do is talk through we're gonna start to pull stuff out and okay. we're going to begin to sh to sort stuff out okay um, and we're gonna also talk about this upper cabinet here too because as we kind of walked around there is a potential for the general location of this stuff is good but we might consider moving some stuff around between the two okay but sometimes that's easier once we're kind of looking moving at everything. through stuff yeah okay so the way you start with decluttering is it's gonna get worse before it gets better, okay? Yeah, I've done it before. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna start pulling everything out and we're gonna do like a real fast take on everything. So to start out with, you're just gonna start pulling stuff out and anything that is expired, 
or that you just know you don't like and you're never going to eat it okay. or whatever it Fair. happens to be or I haven't touched this thing in two years what it, you know okay. maybe that's a immediate a we're going to set it aside we're going to okay. put it Some clear categories happening yes. here. Um, so we've got snacks, we've got baked goods, um, cooking oils, things like that. And so we're going to just um, go through and see if we have kind of similar groupings as we do the rest of these. Okay. And what next with this? So Did we're going to talk through, first of all, we've got some kind of groupings that are already happening, right? We've yeah. got snacks. We've got things like um, what I call dry goods, like rice or things like that. And then we've got distinct baking items. So we've kind of got some groupings that are already happening. Okay. So what we're going to do is talk about, first of all, is there anything up here that kind of fits in that and that we would want to try to get in the same place, right? Okay. So we'll talk about that. Um, so certainly we've got some dry goods happening up there. Uh -huh. Granola, snacks, things like that. Cereal, protein powder, and then mostly just like a mix between Austin and my supplements and like gummies and little like um, hydration powders and stuff like that. But we do use those daily. Okay, perfect. I want to try some of these containers and see how, if they fit down here. Okay. Or just consider the idea that we might I might even suggest a different kind of yes, container. Yes, the containers. Okay, let's look at it. I got those containers from Target, by the way. They are just like the OXO brand. Bits You'll see those up there. All right, so we do have a height issue, so that's not going to fit in this size. What about the protein ones that are at the top up there, the powder? Those will, yes. So your baked goods, we're going to move up here. Watch those guys. Oh, my hand's too small. Here we go. Yeah. Okay. However we want to do it, it's still a little fine. In fact, the, the nice thing about these is that the flat back. Yeah. Right. And they you can reach over other things to get to them. Yeah. Okay. So that's kinda nice. And that clears perfectly. And a thought slash question for those of you who want to like reorganize your kitchen stuff. When you do this or you have people that just like want to reorganize, do you suggest that they organize stuff based on like how often they use it or like how it fits or what would you start with first? Cause that's always my biggest thing. Like I don't know what to put where, I just kind of wing it. Yes. So I would say, um, it, uh, kind of a combination of okay. the two. So first thing is, you know, what are the things that you use the most and where do you use them? So okay. what, like we talked about earlier, you know, if you're all your meal prep stuff was over here, mm -hmm. but you do all your meal prep over there, that's a thing we're going to talk about. You know, we're going to need to see if there's a better solution where it's much more efficient and you're not running back and forth across your kitchen to Got get it. the things that you need. Okay. adjustable cabinets that would be me for sure okay. does your one thing fit here because then maybe I can put the supplements there you know okay okay typical DIY that Beth would do like what I'm doing she wouldn't be here organizing every single thing and like sorting through it but just because we wanted to give you an example of what that looks like so that either you know what you're getting when you hire an organizer or if you just want to learn how to like sort through things and organize them yourself then you can kind of see what that process looks like so that's just basically pulling everything out and sorting it like you said like dry goods and doing all that kind of stuff which honestly was really helpful because I had somewhat of an idea but 
like actually picking everything out and putting it in its proper place was super I needed to do it. <laughs> I think that can be helpful sometimes with bringing someone in. It's not that you don't know how to sort things or, you know, right. people know how to do that. They either, you know, just don't make the time to do it or whatever. But sometimes you live in a space for so long, you don't see yeah. another way to do things. Yes. And so that's the other benefit for bringing in an organizer. Totally. Sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. So this is basically what we changed up. That's like supplementation, oops, supplementation at the bottom and then like cereals and things in the middle shelf and baking is at the top. And then for right now, because I haven't got like new containers, this is what's in the first drawer. So we put like rices and um, what else is in there? Panko breadcrumbs and things like that. And then peanut butters and stuff. And then my oatmeal and protein powder are still in their same containers, just move them there. And then this is gonna be like, haven't finished yet because I'm gonna have to purchase new containers. So these are like snack items and then dog stuff over to the left. And this is what we have done in an hour. So that was literally all that that took to do that. And I will um, keep you guys updated on what I do with the rest of the cabinet. But just for now, this is what it looks like. Next thing the organizer just left. The next thing that I'm going to want to do, I think, is purchase the like clear bins. They're just so aesthetically pleasing. I know it's not necessary, but I kind of want to do it. So if this is helpful, let me know. If you need to organize your kitchen, this is your sign to go organize your kitchen. So that's all I have for you in today's video because I have to actually go to the store and buy more things. So I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, click the subscribe for Mondays and Thursdays with Manders, and I will see you in my next video.